In this video, I'll show you how to solve the CapCut network error. So if you're facing this error message on the screen, there's a couple of things we can do to fix this. The first thing you need to do is obviously make sure you have a stable connection to the internet, make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on and make sure you're connected to an internet. The next thing you want to do is just close out of the CapCut application and then from the home screen, click on the settings icon at the top right here, come over to settings and then you need to clear the cache by pressing this trash icon over here. Click Click on OK and then just give this a few seconds to clear all of your cache files. Finally, click save and then you can try relaunching the app and checking if that's now solved the network issue. If that's still not working, another thing we can do is head over to an internet browser and from here, come over to the website vpngate.net. Now, once you're on this website, you need to head over to the start menu on your computer, search for settings and then click on the settings window. From the left hand side, click on network and internet, select VPN and then click on add VPN at the very top here. For connection name, you can just call this anything you want. I'm just going to call it VPN. Server name or address. Well, now if you head back over to the internet browser and you scroll down slightly to this page here, you'll see all of these free VPNs that we can connect to. So just go ahead and copy any of the addresses down here. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to copy this one here, then head back over to the settings page and paste in the address that we just copied. Change the VPN type from automatic to secure socket tunneling protocol type of sign in info username and password and you're just going to type in vpn and the password also vpn and then hit save and then click on the connect button over here to connect to this VPN. And once you're connected to the VPN, you can then launch back up the CapCut application. And if I come back over to my project, you can see now that we've got rid of the network issue and that's now solved it. So that's it guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.